it's true that there's been a rise uh, in the use of crystal meth by youths. Uh, the reason why there has been a rise is because crystal meth is affordable to the youths and it, the duration of the high is longer compared to the other drugs as well as the duration of the high is a lot more intense compared to the other drugs. One of the reasons why they prefer that drug is because uh, compared to other drugs such as mbanje, crystal meth is stronger than it and it produces a stronger effect. So a lot of youths are looking for a drug which has the best high, a drug which will satisfy them the most, a drug which will satisfy the needs or their feelings and give them that high that they need instantly, as well as they are looking for that drug that will last, uh, that will last a long time. In some cases, uh, crystal meth can last as long as three to seven days compared to uh, Imbanje, which can last up to maybe some a few hours. What happens is that crystal meth, uh, when it goes into the brain, it actually uh, cuts off the communication between the muscles and the brain. So when one takes crystal meth, it means that the feedback from the muscles is not going to the brain, which means that one is not going to be tired, which means that one is not going to be hungry. When they are not hungry, that crystal meth also gives an extra energy into the body. People on crystal meth, they tend to lose weight eventually. They are not uh, as fat as I am. Uh, most of them, as time goes on, they, they, they start losing weight. Mostly because it gives you the drive. It's basically the, the so-called neurotransmitters which give you the drive, the dopamine and so on and so forth, which keep pushing you. But most of the time you notice they don't even eat that much. So basically your body will be breaking down whilst the, the systems which keep you awake or alert are still going on. So usually that doesn't work. So most of those guys, they end up losing, they, they don't eat, they don't sleep. Because of the chemicals that it contains, it can also uh, cause a lot of brain damage. It can cause uh, someone to experience hallucinations, which means that they experience, sometimes experience uh, visions that are not there, or they can hear voices that are not there. Uh, crystal meth, some of the effects is uh, a lot of energy. Someone can go and do work that they wouldn't usually do. Because crystal meth is one of the addictive drugs, most addictive drugs, uh, it can only take one for someone to be an addict. So the reason why it only takes one for someone to be an addict is because when someone takes crystal meth, they have an out of this world experience and they would want to repeat that out of uh, the, that experience. And when they crave that, they keep on taking more and more and more and more and more and more and they can't stop. The reality is, I have always said this even to you, the moment you go to town today in the evening, you find the town will be full and it's not people who are shopping, it's people who are looking for pleasure, whether it's alcohol, whether it's sex or drugs or whatever, that's what they are looking and that's the reality. But when we see that and we ignore it, we say it's normal, then we try to pick for small other things, it doesn't work. So there are two things which I've said, we are not going to win. One of them is drugs, the other one is sex. Whatever we do, we are not going to win. Sounds unfortunate, but that's my own opinion. Unless if we change a generation.